Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, you're gonna see this dress in a few other videos because I am filming a lot today. Um, but again, this is the Wild Afri African. Oh, I can't even talk. Oh, this is the Wild African Silky Straight, um, Silky Straight Brazilian Virgin Hair Wig. I have it in 18 inches. Um, it's the natural color. Um, I have all this information as well as the original video inside the description box below, but I wanted to show you guys how to get this into multiple ponytails. I know a few people um, have asked and some people struggle on getting their hair up into a ponytail. I have absolutely no hair out. Um, this is all wig, um, but yeah, I'll show you guys in the beginning uh, how I put the wig on and how I get it to look like this. Um, I'll show you guys a clip on that, uh, but yeah, let's get started. So normally when applying a full lace wig like this, you want to start off with no makeup on because once you use the got to be glue gel, it will turn the color of your makeup and look weird around your edges. But because my makeup is already done from previous videos, I just went ahead and cleaned off the excess makeup with an alcohol pad to make sure that the perimeter of my forehead was as clean as possible. Then you're just going to take the got to be glue and I'm just using a small little, um, it's actually an angle brush that I got from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to go as close to my hairline as possible with the got to be glue, but not on the hairline because once the glue dries, I do not want my edges to stick to, um, to the lace because when you take the wig off, it pulls a little bit. And then you're just going to go ahead and take a little bit of the got to be glue holding spray and put that on top of the um, glue as well. Then to speed up the drying process, I'm just taking the blow dryer and drying it until you get the tacky feeling. Kind of like when you apply false lashes um, so that this is what the lace of the wig is going to stick to. The next thing that you want to do is you want to adjust your adjustable straps in the back. This part is key when you're doing a high ponytail because if it's loose back there then it'll look really weird when you pull the hair up and it'll kind of flap up but if you make it as tight as you possibly can when you pull your hair up it'll stay kind of tacked down to the back of your head. Next thing once your glue is completely dry or not your glue but your gel is dry you just want to go ahead and take your fingers and smash down the lace around the perimeter of your forehead. I like to start off in the middle of my forehead and then kind of work my way down one ear at a time. Um, and then you also want to make sure that all of your hair is pulled out because uh, sometimes the baby hairs or some of the longer hairs will actually stick to the glue and the lace. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going going around the perimeter of my forehead and pulling out all of the hair that was stuck. I like to tie a scarf around my edges just for extra security and to make sure all the lace is laid down flat and that it is secure. The first ponytail is actually quite simple and all I'm using is the creme brulee um, whipped cream from Curls just to smooth down any of the flyaways and it's just a middle part ponytail so once you have your part in place just go ahead and slick your edges down and pull it back and I like to pull out a little of my sides just to add a little bit of mm to it um, but yeah you just pull it out and do it like this and pull it back and this wig is ideal for this ponytail because it is so flat. second ponytail is actually my favorite don't mind my hair being curled I was just trying out different styles but it is the side swoop part again this wig is also ideal for this one because it is so 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 flat and it makes it so easy and so smooth to lay down Lastly, we have the high ponytail and once you are completely sure that the front of your head is tacked down and you have the back of your wig as tight as possible so that when you put it on it's hugging the back of your head, you can go ahead and pull all of the hair up as high as you want and then I like to go ahead and add the hair tie and once I have the hair tie on, I go ahead and pull out my baby hairs and then I like to pull out a few more loose hairs to make it look like I tried but didn't really try and then as far as the back of the head. Um, this wig does have baby hair and a small piece of lace on the back of the head. I do not tack that down with glue because like I said, if you make the wig as tight as possible, it should hug the back of your head. 
Now I just go ahead and make sure that the baby hairs in the back are laid down. Um, like not to my scalp, but like they're not pulled up or sticking straight out. And then there you have it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.